Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Alex. Welcome back to the ninth part of our series called Airbnb V 2.0. So, in the last episode, we created this moto, and I was really in a rush, so we didn't get much much done. Um, but also, uh, something that I forgot to mention in my last video, and one of you guys, um, which, which obviously, you know, um, watches all the tutorials, um, noticed that... Um, I removed the Jumbotron. So there was a Jumbotron, uh, which I created in the 6th or 7th part, don't really remember. But, I removed it because when we started, uh, Airbnb V2.0, there was also a Jumbotron in Air the official Airbnb website, uh, with images, text, but now it's gone. I mean, I think it was like a little update or something. Um, so... I decided to remove it as well because it just didn't look good, uh, Jumbotron with a moto. It was... <laughs> didn't work. So, what we're gonna try and do in this episode is we're gonna create one... Well, actually, we're gonna try and create this, but we're not gonna go nowhere near because I'm gonna create only one input without all these, you know, drop-downs. Why does it keep on redirecting me? But yeah, so um, that's it for the explanation. Let's get right into the tutorial. So I'm gonna create a new uh, comment and I'm gonna call it. Uh, I don't I don't know like what did it call here. I'm gonna call it search search bar and div id. Um, Well, see, I'm trying to see if, uh, I'm trying to figure out if we actually need a wrapper. But I don't think we do, so I'm just going to call it. No, actually we do, because it's going to be a form. Okay, so search, search bar wrapper. Uh, and then we're going to uh, get also input uh, a row. As explained in my previous video, what it did. Um, why is this stuck or something? Okay, um, now we're gonna create a form, but so it, well, actually, let's first style this. So, search bar CSS, search bar CSS, search bar. Wrapper, a position relative, merge, uh, uh, width 100%, height, oh, come on, height, auto, and then margin, margin, oh, we don't need that. Oh, no, actually, we are going to create a margin for top and bottom. So, I'm going to say margin bottom 30 pixels because this looks like 30 pixels. And we also already have a defined uh, margin top, like 60 pixels from the moto. So I'm gonna say margin bottom, oh, bottom 30 pixels. I want to give it a background color. Back, what am I writing? Background color of red. And let's put in something to see how it looks. Yeah, okay, that looks that looks like the right amount of space. Now we are, well, I'm gonna remove this. Uh, now we are going to create a, the form. So form, uh, for a method, we're gonna be using method equals, for method, we're gonna be using get, uh, so we can get our literal URL, get, and then action is gonna be in, I don't know, what is this? Action is going to be index.html, although HTML can't handle PHP code. It has to be an index.php file. Alright, uh, no, we're not, we're not going to, we are now going to uh, create our input source. So input type is going to be text. Name is going to be um, uh, destination. And then placeholder is going to be, well, anyway, okay, so it's desti destination, city, address, like this, oops, there we go. 
okay, and close this off. Okay, uh, we also need a search menu, a search button, sorry. So it's going to be input, uh, hold on. input type equals submit, name equals submit, place, no, not placeholder. Actually, value. I we can't do that. No, you know what? We're actually going to make it post because uh, if we do get, when we click send, what is going to happen is uh, uh, it's going to be so let's say destination equals NYC. There's also going to be a search equals a something. And I mean, that's just the but the value of the button. And we all obviously don't want that. We're not going to play around with, you know, hiding it or creating two separate forms. So we're just going to change it to post. So input type equals submit name equals submit play, not placeholder value equals search. Okay, let's change that, change that to search as well. Okay. So uh, let me see. Let me show you what I mean if it's get because I don't think I explained it very well. Okay. Oh, uh, what happened? Continue. So let's say we type in NYC. Click enter, and you see we have destination equals NYC and search equals search. Now, obviously, that's not really good. And I mean, if it's a really long URL, I mean, why? Like why not but when it's short as this mm, not really worth it actually let's type in like temp or whatever and choose a date and see okay see well obviously this is like some really nice code because i don't even think it uses php to be honest uh, that's definitely not php that's probably like python or ajax uh, not ajax um no js i mean PHP can't load that fast, to be honest. Obviously joking, but <laughs> it's not even funny, but let's get into styling. So search, search a form wrap. Actually, no, let's give it, give the form an ID so it can target, target easy, more easily. Come on, uh, search, search bar. Okay. What the hell? Search, why my caps? Search bar. So search bar, we're going to say position relative width is 100%. So it's going to be with 970 pixels because it's inside a row and then hide out row. Now search bar input. <coughs> um, I'm going to style individually for the, for the, <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of sick as I said. Uh, type for uh, I'm gonna style the submit button in the placeholder. I mean the the text field differently. So type equals text. Um, let's see what kind of padding it has. Although um, it's probably gonna have like I don't know. So it's padding 11 pixels, obviously not 11 pixels because I don't know. <laughs> um, so the one thing that I see is font size 19 pixels, pixels. So, and actually I'm gonna talk, do that for both. So search bar input font size 19 pixels. Okay, uh, I want to remove that outline. You see when you click it, it adds a little outline. Don't want that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, this is like 50 pixels high. And actually, 50 pixels, so 19. 
So it's going to be 15 minus 20 divided by 2. Well, not 20 divided by 2, but 15 minus 20, uh, which is 30 divided by 2, 15. So it's probably about padding 15 pixels. So let's try that. Padding 15 pixels. Continue. Um, on the side, yes, but on the top, no. So we can probably do something like 30 pixels, 15 pixels. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. We can try like 20, 20. I, I get, okay, um, well, I can't talk. Um, so that looks pretty decent. Uh, let's change the max width of, actually, no, we're going to change the width. Like 170 minus 150 is 820 pixels. Hmm. Okay, uh, search bar input type equals submit. So now we're gonna give the width of the submit button. So it's gonna be width 150 pixels. And uh, we also obviously have to do display inline block and here display inline block but uh this is exactly 970 pixels which is not good because we have a border so i'm gonna give this um what is that like ccc it is it is okay so border one pixel solid ccc okay okay um Uh, let's see, let's see. So it's going to be minus 2 pixels, so it's going to be like 818 pixels. And then here it's going to be like 148. Now let's remove the cache. Well, 970 minus 150 is 820. Let's try like 130. What the hell? So weird. 100 pixels. Yeah, I want this to be 150 pixels. Like this. Wait, is it gonna be 150? It is 150. That's weird. Uh, can we add a padding? Like padding 20 pixels, zero. Height, height 50. Now it's 19 plus 40, which is 59 pixels. That does not seem to work for some reason. Why? Uh, border radius none. I mean zero. <sighs> if we do a thousand pixels, will that change anything? It does. I don't. I. I honestly can't understand forms. It's so hard to. So difficult to style. WebKit border radius zero. Let's try zero pixels. What the hell? Why? So weird. Border none. Hey, right, there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna say color FFF, and then I wanna get the uh, actually it's the same color as the text keyer, so I can just copy this. Background color this, okay, and then cursor pointer. There we go. Uh, let's make it 200 pixel because I don't. I think it looks a little bit small. I think that looks good. 
So 970 minus 200 is... Well, it's 770, but if we remove the border, it should be like 968. No. 960, let's try that. Mm. Alright, guys, I, I know what the problem is. You know how display inline in blocks sometimes adds a little margin? Obviously, it wasn't the problem here, though, but it does for some reason. How much shorter do I need to make this? Why? So weird. What if we do like 731? Okay, 735. 739. 738. Okay. I don't know why, because, I mean. Why? I don't. I don't understand. I thought it was 970. Is the is the row not 170? It is 970 pixels, and I have no idea what's the problem. Okay. Um. I'm gonna add. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make this. 18 pixels uh, actually no 19 pixels there we go now they're perfectly aligned okay now I want to show you well actually first I want to create the transition for this so there is no transition yeah, okay that sucks would have been really nice if it had some tra transition we can add it obviously but you know what let's add it because we're pros we can do that so color dash hex and then I'm just gonna get like this one and so search bar input type equals submit hover background color equals this Yeah, although, mm, maybe if we make it like d lighter instead of darker, we want to look nicer. Okay, so let's add a transition. So transition, all 0 0.3 seconds ease. WebKit transition, all 0 0.3 seconds ease. Moz transition all zero point three seconds ease and then opera transition all all zero point three seconds ease. Let's refresh. Let's make it a little bit more you know visible the fact. I don't want it to be to, to be so subtle. I want it to be like wow like you can see it. it's not like you have to be zoomed in. I think I prefer this. Okay, that looks... Well, I mean, it's subtle, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'm going to show you a really cool effect before we wrap out, uh, before we wrap this episode. Um, obviously, there's going to be one more episode, so the 10th episode is going to be... Well, we're going to be finishing... Well, we're going to be adding finishing touches to, you know, the search. Because we can't do everything in one tutorial. Although it's, it looks really simple. But you know 20 minutes just went like this. Um, I'm going to show you a really cool effect. Although you know what. I'm actually going to leave it for the next episode. Because I want to I want to make my tutorials a little bit shorter. So people watch them, don't watch them more. Because when they're long. People get bored. And you know kind of sucks for me uh but yeah so that's it for this tutorial guys hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for the next episode where we will, where we will be um you know adding some fish finishing touches but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed and peace.